I'm the boss and pretty much I can do whatever I want and say whatever I want and guess what you guys will have to follow me because I am the leader no it doesn't really work like that I'm yeah no it doesn't there are things that you should not do mainly because you are the boss and you should be the main one leading by example let's talk This is Cartainment Time, and I'm coming to you about things that you should be mindful of as the boss. Number one, you should not say whatever, do whatever, just because you're the boss. No, we think when we get to a certain level, like we get to do whatever, say whatever we want, and everything's all good. I'm telling you now, it can bite you in the behind. And I've seen that firsthand. Um, my soldiers has come to me in privacy and said oh i saw so and so do this and so and so do that and you're like dang you're right so and so has done that and i'm like wow uh i'm more so baffled at the fact that they really do pay attention it always sets me back when i'm thinking about it and they tell me something that i may i may have seen or i may not have seen i'm like wow they really do notice everything and they can tell you exactly what happened so if you're running late all the time and you're and you're trying to you know tell them that they need to be on time or you're saying any old kind of thing around the office you know just being unprofessional they are watching trust me they are watching us as leaders so we cannot do whatever um, we cannot say whatever because we are the ones that set the standard we should be leading by example because we are what we want them to be. Number two is caring for our soldiers, having empathy. If something is going on, do not get so wrapped up in the mission that we're like, okay, mission first, I don't care about the soldiers because your subordinates are the ones actually executing whatever task that you set out for them. You must take care of them because they are the ones that's working hours on end um, trying to execute the things that you have set, try to achieve that goal for the team. Um, so if something is troubling them or something is going on with them, just make sure we take care of them. Ask questions. Ask them how they're doing. Um, ask, them, ask them all kinds of questions. Just be in tune because when something goes left, you don't want to be that person whereas you didn't do enough for your soldier or for your subordinates beforehand, you know? Um, so oftentimes I come into office and I'm or I come off a weekend, I'm like, hey guys, how are you? You know, um, what you do for the weekend? Uh, did you go out? What you eat? What you do? I want to know everything. Not because I I'm nosy, you know. You know, that's all relative. But I really do truly want to know what's going on in the lives of my subordinates. I want to know what's going on amongst my team. How is the morale? How are, you know, how effective if my, is my team when I give them a task because if they're not at their best then whatever products that they set forth is not going to be optimal it's not going to be most effective and most efficient so I must take care of my team as a leader it is imperative do not forget that sometimes we get so wrapped up in ourselves and our own lives that we don't take that time we need to take that time out we need to you know Number three, listen, listen. Like my boss said, listen, Linda, listen. Because sometimes I'm going a mile a minute and somebody stopped me and I'm like, ah, uh, man, you're going to take me off track. I'm going to be behind schedule. I can't get this project done because you guys want to talk for days about whatever you guys want to talk about. But that is perfectly okay. I'm here to listen. I'm here to deconflict. I am here to resource. I am here to square you away if need be. I am here to set the standard. Come talk to me. Um, and I, sometimes I got to check myself because I'll make a little face and my facial expressions are quite unique. And I'll make a facial expression and I'll reel it back because, you know, even though I'm tired, I don't want um, my team members to think that I'm too busy for them. I'm always listening. I'm not perfect, especially in the area of... Um, task I'm not always a subject matter expert but I know about every task that doesn't mean I don't know about every task and I know exactly where to get the standard so as far as the workers telling me like ma'am no that's not how you do it listen to them you they probably right 
or two minds is better than one. So when they tell me, um, ma'am, I think you might want to do it this way, don't be too prideful that you, you shut it down. You don't listen to your teammates. You don't think, you know, you think that you're, you're the best because you're the leader and you know everything. No, no, that's not always true. Hate to bust your bubble. You're there to think, but you might not always already know. So listen, it's so important for you to listen to your people. Yes. <laughs> and the fourth thing is genuity. Be genuine. Be yourself. Um, everybody can see right through a facade. Everybody can see right through fakery, fake acting people. We see you. You can't do it 24-7. As much as you think or you feel like you put on this show 24-7, no, if you're a leader and you're one way, just be who you are, you know? Don't try to, you know, flip flop to whatever you think the culture is going to be. That's not that's not what adapting is. Be genuine. Genuity is key because your teammates want to help you succeed. But if you're not genuine and you're not being who you are as a person, you're not, you know, you they can see that if you're trying to fake and like oh no i'm not doing this or you're trying to be with the in crowd too much you're trying to get in with your subordinates or in with your team members and you're like you know flopping by day by night they can see that you know you go say for instance you got a co-worker i've seen a co-worker go hang out with one co-worker and they're this way and they're happy and they're you know talking about another co-worker then you go to another co-worker and now you're talking about the other person you know that fakery just be who you are just be genuine just you know just look at the task at hand and be honest be real there's no need to be fake at work get the work done you know if you're genuine friendships will come naturally um Productivity will come naturally because your team members will genu genuinely want to follow you. This has been Cartainment Time. <laughs> yes, connect, connect with me. My email, my social media links are in my description box below. Yes, hit me up. I'd love to hear about this topic. I'd love to hear your thoughts, what you think. Yes. So until next time, this has been Max Perspective bringing you a fresh point of view. Yeah.